G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video, I want to show you a really neat treat trick that your chickens will absolutely love. And it's got everything to do with an old ball and some clover. Let's get into it. Now I've got to go down and get that ball. But before I do that, I just want to let you know that you can see how overgrown the lawn is here. At this time of year, coming into our winter, I generally like to let the lawn go rogue a bit. This brings out the clover and it does two main things. It goes to seed, which my chickens love, and it also flowers, which the bees love, both our native honeybees and also the independent solitary bees and probably a whole heap of other pollinating insects that love to feast on this wonderful ground cover. Clover is full of nitrogen and lots of other goodies. So when you do let it grow in the grass, it's good food for the grass, it's a natural fertilizer. More importantly, it's great food for animals. This is an excellent foraging crop for chickens. It's naturally high in protein, so fresh, and it's just like us eating fresh food. That's why chickens adore it so much because if they're gonna have a foraging food or something they can pluck or a bug they can catch or clover they can eat or a seed from clover or a plant they can eat or a berry, they're gonna do that instead of falling back on their grain or especially their crappy pelletized feed. That might be good for them and full of nutrients. We know that, but it's like us, I don't know, eating vitamins by the bucket full uh, instead of having a nice fresh dinner. You're probably getting the nutrients you need, but it's not very fulfilling, is it? And I know what some of you are probably thinking. You're thinking, Mark, why don't you just open the gate down there, let those chickens and ducks out to forage in this area, your veggie garden, your orchard, because wouldn't they be eating the bugs and having a wonderful time? And yeah, you're right, that's probably true. However, it's not viable for me. Chickens destroy my vegetable garden. I've tried it before and I don't like it. And they chuck the mulch from all around our trees. Ducks, on the other hand, are pretty good in the orchard, but I've got another problem. I've got dogs, neighbor's dogs. They get out a lot of the time and I've had neighbor's dogs kill our poultry before and it's not gonna happen again. That's why I spent so much money putting in an electric fence all the way around our free ranging area down the back there and built a chicken coop that could keep out every predator. And I'm not going to destroy all that hard work by letting the chickens roam in an insecure area and get them knocked off by a rogue predator because they've got an opportunity to do that. No, I won't. But I have got a really novel way and a fun way to be able to give the hens the snacks they need. Yes, you can chop it up and chop it off and throw it into the pen and they'll snack on it. But I think using the ball is a really cool way to treat your flock. And you guessed it, it's not really hard to do. All you've got to do is get a soccer ball or an old ball like this. And you can see from that first throw, it's already got a covering of clover seeds. Hey, how cool is that? But that's not good enough. I want it completely covered. So let's have a bit of fun. You could get the kids to do this and let's roll it around some more. Come on, come at me. See them behind me? Well, I think we've got enough for a go. If you find that the ball gets too wet and not enough clover sticks to it, well, you could roll it in the dry clover and this leather will pick it up quick smart. Or you could get a stocking or pantyhose, put it over the ball and that will pick up all that clover seed really nicely. Probably get a lot more of it. Actually, I've just noticed a potential issue. I've got more on my boots than on the ball. What to do? They might just come over and attack my feet. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, my God. 
She's walked straight past the ball and then she wants at my feet. I knew that had happened. I knew I know I've distracted them. I should have filmed this earlier. Yeah, I knew that'd go for my feet instead of the ball. Well, that's not the result I wanted, ladies. Well, I suppose you can clean my boots off, that's fine. But I was hoping that... Yeah, that's it, that's it. Well done. We'll get this game going if it's the last thing I do. Well, they did eat it, and it seems like they want more. They certainly cleaned my boots off too. But they did clean the ball. It's not quite the result I wanted to show you. I mean, it's hardly going to be a viral video, is it? But that's not the point. Oh, yeah, I'd love to get a viral video. But the point is that, yeah put some stockings on it next time and maybe the brightness of the ball didn't help as much they're a bit timid of it but I have tried this trick before and it's worked a lot better than that but anyway that's animals for you what do they say never work with children and animals how true is that but my boots are clean and yeah the ball is clean maybe one or two they've left but that was probably lying down that way but you get the gist. The gist is that you can give your hens a clover treat. So say if you're even in a small backyard, it's not safe for them to run around the yard. Well then you, can, you have them in a small run, a secure coop, and you don't like them running in the backyard for whatever reason, get a bit of leather or whatever, a rock or something, roll it around in the clover, get all the seeds off it for a bit of fun, let them peck at it and roll it around, you know. It just amuses them, it amuses me, it amuses us, and you can have a, a whole lot of fun. It amuses the kids, whatever. Just think outside the box, have fun with your animals and your chickens, and that's all that I really am trying to get across, plus the nutrition in that clover. And of course, if you can free range them, get a bit of a portable electric fence, put it around the area, and sit out and watch them for a little bit of fun as well, that's not a bad idea, just thinking on my feet. And I'm sure you guys will have plenty more to say in the comment section below. You always have so many good points and tips and hints. I learn more than I give in my videos. So I'll be looking forward to reading those comments down below. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and give this a big clover, sticky clover, thumbs up. Stick that right there. Bye for now. Do I dare? I'll see if I can kick it straight past you. Ooh. Oh, you should never gamble like that. Just missed.